saga continues. I mean, uh, last year, as uh, you are aware, Commissioner General, this parliament adopted a world first resolution condemning UNRWA over its lack of transparency and inability to adhere to UN values of peace and tolerance in educational material used by UNRWA staff in schools. Back then, you admitted that your teachers had mistakenly produced and distributed inappropriate material, UNRWA branded material during the pandemic. You promised this committee last September that UNRWA removed all hateful teaching materials it self-produced, that its internal auditing mechanisms identify hateful content, that UNRWA has a zero tolerance policy for discrimination or for incitement to hatred and violence in its educational materials. Good. But then, in July of this year, a new report uncovered that UNRWA branded school materials produced by UNRWA's field education departments include teaching materials that incite violence and promote hate and anti-Semitism. Your agency asserted that the hundreds of documented material were all illegally created. Nevertheless, a cursory inspection of official UNRWA school social media accounts reveals many images of these UNRWA branded materials that are used within verified UNRWA schools and classrooms. Commissioner General, you seem to be more emotive when you talk about efforts to improve oversight and accountability than when you talk about the actual content most problematic content of these books. How do you explain that despite your claims to have robust systems to curb hate, subsequent reports find that UNRWA's own material year in and year out encourages jihad, violence and martyrdom, as well as anti-Semitism, hate and intolerance? Thank you.